10 News Pinpoint Weather. We out of the woods, would you say? Well, no. I looked at all the numbers and actually I added them up manually and this is literally crunching numbers. Okay. We still need 12 inches of rain to catch up since 2010. Oh. And here are the numbers. You can see that total since 2010, we've, we've had about 59 inches of rainfall. We should have had 72. So the drought is not over. We're still under a deficit, but so far for the year, we do have a nice surplus. And if we keep this going, maybe add another five inches for the rest of the year through September, then we'd be in great shape. We just need another 10 to 12 year, uh, 12 inches for another year and then hopefully just stay there for the next several years. As we go over the rest of the week, it's going to be warm and dry. So if you're hoping for a break, we have one. The jet stream is going to be lifting a line for this high pressure to stick around all the way through next week, but it will get windy in our mountains once again with an offshore flow. Now we're watching this other area of low pressure, which is going to bring back that jet stream closer to Southern California and potentially bring another chance of rain for the beginning of next month. So I'm looking at the first and second for our first potential rain and for the next several days and for the end of January drier, but colder tonight with frost into tomorrow morning at the coast, patchy fog, high surf through 9 a.m. Here's why it's going to be warming up, high pressure dropping, bringing that northeasterly wind, which is also going to bring the temperatures up. The comparison as we go overnight at the coast, temperatures will be in the mid 40s, so pretty chilly out there. If you haven't been outside, you probably <laughs> haven't felt it, but it's definitely cold. You want to bundle up around 37, between 33 to 37 degrees as we break it down hour by hour for your early morning along the uh, our valleys and inland communities at the coast 59 tomorrow 60 Thursday warming up this weekend 65 to 67. So yes, drier but not as warm as it's going to be this weekend, 68 to 73. We still have a few more days to get through with those unseasonably chilly temperatures and the potential for frost tomorrow morning and also Thursday morning. Ooh, but mm. look, got some suns all the way across but there, but our sunshine is coming back. That